welcome back to the channel today we're going to be showing you guys how to cut up a whole grouper head and this was a challenge it's this thing was hard i brought up my cleaver and that didn't even do too well so yeah this this was definitely one of the hardest things that i had to break down this is like a devil not mistaken thing it's like a nine and a half pound grouper head and i didn't realize grouper's that tough so it was definitely a challenge to like crack the skull and get in it, but I mean, I got it done. This is my cleaver, and this is a pretty good cleaver too. Like, I cut through some real bones with this, but this grouper head was not happening. So the whole idea was to like split it down the middle and separate it. And I'm telling you, this took a lot of elbow power. And I actually sharpened the cleaver before I did this video. So I made sure it was very sharp. Just for some reason or another, I just wasn't able to get through it. But, you know, I kept on going and, you know, eventually you see starting to open up. So the whole idea is you want to hold it from the gill side so that way your hand is protected. And you just going to keep trying to split it in half. And like I said, this thing was so meaty. It's, it, was, it was like, sorry about the camera. My tripod broke, so I had to have somebody hold it. They didn't do a good job, but hey, you got to be grateful. And kept on trying to split down the middle. Like I said, this thing is was very hard. I, I would definitely I like to make like fish head soup, and it was a great deal. They had it for like ninety nine cents a pound. And if you know anything about buying group ahead, that is a very good price. So once again, I'm I'm trying to split down the middle. I got it halfway. See, I'm holding on the gills right there. That's like one of the safest way to do it. To keep your hand out of harm's way. Keep you keep yakking at it. And, you know, I'm, I think I'm getting closer and it's just, I'm not getting closer. It's just the continuous of just trying to whack it, whack it. So that was definitely a challenge. Just keep on whacking it over and over, trying to get it. And it's just, it took a really long time to get it out. And there we go. We kind of have it open all the way. And now we have it open all the way now. This is where the challenge begins because the, the bone that was keeping the mouth together and right there, even the gill bone was hard. Like I've never seen gills that hard, which I should have known better because like I said, it was like a nine and a half pound Cooper head. So I should have known that this thing was definitely going to be a challenge. But hey, I took it on. And like I said, you can see the meat. I'm about to flip it over so you can see how big this thing is. Cause this is a big cutting board. And look look at the size of this thing. Massive. I wish I had saw the whole fish when I got there, but by the time I got there, it was just the head that was left over. And so that's kinda how big it is. And then I had to continue keep yakking at it. So like I said, I, you know, that's usually the technique, you know, you, you try to separate, you know, the gill from the head, even the, the thing, I literally almost broke my, uh, my kitchen chair, so that's how hard this thing was to take apart. That's why I see those guys was asking me, hey, you sure you don't want us to cut it for you? And I was like, nah, it's cool, I'll do it myself. I see why they was insisting they should do it, but hey, you know, I wanted to do the challenge. Now I'm using my my boning knife to try to separate. There we go. Separation started. So we separate under the gill from the head and still was still was a problem. It was like this thing was no give. This is like if anybody out of that fish and know anything about like a grouper, how tough it is. This is definitely like I said before, a challenge. But you know, we're gonna figure out how to break it down. And the group of soup was amazing, by the way. So, so eventually I used the bone and knife, and now I'm separating the gill, separate the gill from off of the head. And once you did that, once you do that part, everything I was trying to ease up a little bit, starting to get a little bit easier. And it got caught in my glove, so my, my glove is starting to rip. But hey, you gotta get it done. Look how big those gills are. 
massive. And now here we are with the uh, with the fish head. And now I'm trying to figure out the way to try to flatten it out to separate it. And listen, this thing gave me a hard time. That's why this video is so long. Because I wasn't expecting this video to be this long. To be honest, because I'm cutting up like other fish heads before. Like kingfish and stuff like that. But I wasn't expecting this grouper snapper heads. But I wasn't expecting this grouper to be this tough. When I asked my brother about it. Even he said to me, he's like, look, man, he's like, yo, it's grouper, man. Grouper is tough. Here I am with the cleaver now, trying to separate the mouth off, trying to split it up into three. Like I said, this thing was no joke trying to get this thing done. Now I have the cleaver trying to separate one of the cheeks off. And like I said, I am I am slamming the cleaver on this thing, and it's just not happening. But they keep on slamming it. Eventually, it is gonna go through. There we go. Have one cheek separated. Trying to get the other one. There we go. We got them separated. Now look at all that meat inside of this fish head. Like I said, I literally got like five meals out of this. To be honest. Cause I'm the only one that's gonna eat the fish head soup, so obviously I don't gonna use that much. So, and I'll definitely go back and buy more, but this time I'm definitely gonna have them cut it because I had to bleach down my whole house to try to get rid of this fish smell. So yeah, definitely not doing this again. But the challenge was definitely worth it though. And like I said, it was a lot of meat it was inside this group it had a lot of meat this thing was just tough and I had to scale it for some reason when people scale fish they never scale the head of the fish I don't know why but that seems to be something I noticed when you buy fish the head is never scaled even if the, even if you buy a whole fish they don't scale the head I don't know why but though look at look at all that meat on it and now we get to here's where the other problem coming just trying to like separate this thing like and after this video was ended I literally bought a big massive cleaver just in case I run into like another challenge on cutting something I think I'll have a bigger cleaver but the drawback of using a bigger cleaver is just a blunt object they're not really sharp that's why I wanted something that was like kind of in the middle of which this one is it's not too light, but it has a nice edge to it. So I thought this was going to be the best bet. But I noticed, hey, I got to get one of those massive, just heavy cleaver that's not really sharp. But the weight alone will, you know, will break the bone. And I can use my knife to finish it off. So, But yeah, this, this thing was, but it's, like I said, the cleanup afterwards was definitely <laughs> the worst part. I think the, cl the cleanup was worse than cutting this thing up. But like I said, I had fun doing it. Even though it was a challenge, I definitely had fun. And I learned a lot of lessons that if I ever had to do this again, I learned a lot more easier way of doing it. So, like I said, just get a massive, heavy blunt cleaver. Do all the work. So, and the guys at the place, they use, uh, I think they had like a machete, if I'm not mistaken. So, I, now I see why they had that big machete. And most, like, fish markets you go to, they have a, a bandsaw. They have a bandsaw on the back that they use the bandsaw to do stuff like this. So sometimes it's cool to do stuff by yourself, and sometimes you know it's good to you know let the professionals do do their thing. So you know, hey, it was definitely like I said, it was definitely an interesting challenge. I will say that. Here we go, we still on the other one trying to get it done. And 
this part right here is just like I said, I'm hammering this thing. At one point, I'm trying to use like pure force, and it's just not happening. Like you can see, like I am, I'm using all the cleaver techniques I've learned over the years, and they're not working. Like I use this cleaver, just chopped through like solid bone, and I had somebody hold it, and my tripod broke. So there we go. Just trying, and like I said, you can clearly see the amount of meat that is on this fish head. Just definitely notice, and we almost here as far as like separating it off. Just trying to find the separation, which I'm like, uh, I've cut like stuff that's way more difficult than this in less time. But like I said, the first time I, I broke down one this big and such a hard fish. So I think that was definitely where the challenge came in. And that's kind of what it looks like when fish. Like I said, I got five meals out of it because obviously I'm the only one that's going to eat it. But and it was delicious and it was definitely worth the effort. Next time, if I do get one, definitely going to have the guys do it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.